Hello everyone, this is Simply Devin and today I'm going to talk about how to set up your own game servers, multiple ones on your Pterodactyl for free for 3 months, roughly 90 days and around 280 something euros for free. So what you have to do, you will have to go to Google Cloud, sign up, you'll get uh, the bonus free credits, uh, I'll leave the <coughs> link in the description there's no affiliation for me it's just a simple thing that Google offers for uh, newcomers to Google Cloud just to try it out Google Cloud is basically something like a AVS or Azure or um, Oracle Cloud so it's just uh, another platform where you can host uh, or not host just but to make basically any kind of setups for uh, online stuff so um, after you set up your account you'll have to enter your uh, bank account uh, and it will not charge you you can read it actually also in the uh, terms and conditions they will not charge you even after the 90 days unless you upgrade to paid account so you do not have to worry about that okay so after you set up all of that you will receive your credits and then what you should do to set up the um, basically the game server so what you want to do is you want to start a new project I have uh, one here but I'm going to start a, a new one just for the video so that you can see everything step by step that I do right so I'm gonna call this a video project you can call this anything you want uh, no organization in this case and after I'm done with it it's going to set up the environment for the new project we're gonna wait for that and um, meanwhile that is happening you can go to page called uh, Pterodactyl X it's on a uh, github you can open both of these githubs I think they could be different ones I'm not actually entirely sure but it seems like they are different right so what the pterodactyl is and what are pterodactyl eggs uh, let's talk about that for a second while I'm gonna do also this so you can listen and also do at the same time what I do so pterodactyl is a platform where you can um, that you can host uh, on a virtual machine and uh, you can basically host any kind of server it handles most of the stuff uh, in the uh, for you so what you only have to do is to enable a firewall to it and you have to uh, set up uh, like the environment for it of course uh, so you will have to use a command line the good thing about a Google Cloud is that you don't even have to download Putty or for or that you have to download for most of the other platforms uh, Putty is a uh, SSH connector uh, that connects you to the virtual machine with the encryption key that you can download them from the site but uh, in this case we will not need it just because the Google Cloud is set up in that way then I'm gonna leave these um, files uh, these links in the description uh, you might be wondering what are these and these are the actual eggs that you can call uh, that are for the game servers right so for example if you would like to host a um, the forest or swing call or be rising wallheim with your friends you can just uh, click here uh, I'm just gonna show you how it's done I'm not gonna do it actually on the panel afterwards uh, while we wait for this to set up I'm gonna just show you this one uh, then you can go for wallheim van vanilla and you can so the first thing that you have to notice is like the game port the default mode for this case is 2456 so uh, what you want to do is you want to go to the egg wall in JSON and then you see like a bunch of code here which you most likely don't understand but that's okay um, I don't understand most of it either I just understand that it's a JSON file and the JSON file is basically key value pairs uh, of uh, some sort of variables that the environment uh, that the environment can use to set up right so what you want to do is click raw here right click save as and just keep it like this and save it will download it as a json and you can just uh, keep it there for now then what you want to do next 
you want to after your environment is set up you want to create a instance so there we have it we are going to create an instance uh, i'm gonna leave also the link in the description for pricing of the um of some of the instances but uh, maybe i don't even have to because the instance uh, pricing is also shown here on the right side i'm gonna call this pterodactyl varsala and i'm gonna use it in varsala so i'm gonna select the central and i'm just gonna set it up on um, e2 standard too just because it's going to be good enough if we really like a uh, someone uh, like multiple players like let's say a few hundreds and then you'll have to go for compute optimized and you'll have to go for a bigger instance for sure F yeah something like this at least mm. which is going to cost around 315 dollars per month uh, but if you want to play with your friends to up to 100 players let's say this is uh, good enough for you the e2 standard too so we have that uh, what we want to do next is want to change the to Ubuntu. If you know how to work with Debian, you can keep Debian. I am actually not very good at Debian, so I'm just going to use Ubuntu. Uh, you want to go for Ubuntu. Uh, take care of this x86 uh, that, uh, slash 64. We don't want to go for ARM64. It's a long story. Why not? Uh, I can talk about it uh, in the next video if you would like to know how to set up a Oracle Cloud uh, lifetime for free because they have option for that but they are only working on ARM64 which means that you can only host a Minecraft server there I can show you also do that how to do that so once that's done you can change also the size uh, I'll actually do it just to show you that um, it's possible and the price also changes based on the price it's just like two dollars or something like that yeah uh, then we want to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic and that's it for uh, for this page we're just gonna create it Google how it is pretty fast with st set up in their um, uh, virtual machines so what we want to do we're gonna wait just a few seconds uh, in the meantime we want to open the uh, getting started panel page on the pterodactyl and we want to scroll here and we see these are all of the commands that we will have to use just to set up the panel the panel is something like it's a f user friendly interface so that you do not have to worry about um, basically anything uh, you don't have to do anything uh, in the uh, with the commands after you're done with the setup right uh, so we're gonna SSH into it we just uh, here is a connect you press SSH and uh, we're gonna wait until it connects this is the um, case that I was talking about that you would have to use putty for this but uh, in this case you don't have to because uh, the Google Cloud handles it this way so I'm gonna wait for that to connect um, in the meantime we can do nothing so we're gonna sudo s uh, so what this does it, it puts us as a root user then you want to do twice cd space dot dot and cd space dot dot and uh, it's just because we want to go from our uh, account back to basically root of the virtual machine then we're gonna command uh, copy paste all of the commands that we have here there's nothing you have to change there's it's just the initial setup for downloading the dependencies and all of that it's gonna take a while for it uh, all to download it's um, because uh, the virtual machine has to download all of that stuff but uh, thank god the virtual machines are somewhere with whereas the speed of the internet is up to like even fewer gigabytes actually so you have like it should be pretty fast it should not take longer than a few minutes to make this initial setup because that's how the instances are just set up i'll leave the link actually in the description for the pricing of the instances and there's also the bandwidth speed of the instances so you can check out how fast they can go and then we want to install the composer and uh, I'm not 
not sure if I should also explain these commands, but I don't think I should because most of you are not gonna actually have any background, technical background uh, about uh, knowledge or even uh, seeking knowledge in something like this. If you would like anything in depth in this case, you can just let me know in the comments and I can explain it in some other video. Um, yeah, but basically what all of this does is just setting up all of your uh, uh, environmental variables and a, uh, downloading dependencies. So yeah, then we're just gonna move here, make a new directory called pterodactyl. We want to cd into that. Now you can see we are in the in there. After you're in it, you are going to clone this repository, uh, basically, and then we're gonna unzip. And once we unzip, we want to ch mode it. Then we want to go to uh, MySQL and we want to set up a account so there's no password required in for now and we want to create a new account so i am gonna keep it like that but i'm gonna just change the password to like just password so i don't forget it for this video you don't have you can set up for something else something that you will definitely remember but i'm just gonna do that then we want to create a new panel and we want to grant all of the privileges to the account we just created and then we want we can press uh, type exit or press control C just to be back in the back in the command line basically because we were in MySQL query line or whatever it's called. Um, then we are going to set up some uh, environment setting files as you can see. You can also read the description here and it's pretty descriptive descriptive so yeah. It's pretty good. Here we want to actually go for yes. It's going to download, inst actually install the dependencies. Uh, we're going to also generate a key, uh, which you can um, find in the .env file. Just to, yeah, as you can see, you can back up your encryption key just because in case uh, so corruption would happen and then you wouldn't have to basically reset everything that you have there but uh, that's not required so here we want to set up our environment so what you're gonna do is just um, you can write something random so I'm gonna do david gmail.com and then uh, the application URL is this your IP address so we're gonna Type that there. Time zone. I'm gonna go for Europe. Uh, it doesn't. Yeah. And I'm gonna go for Prague. And then I just enter, enter, enter. And then enable UI based editor. And you can go for yes. And this is based on here. If you want to send uh, some data to the owner of the pterodactyl and I always say yes here just because they are providing this for free so I'm just using this as my payback for them just to give them some data that they uh, can use then it's uh, basically just uh, probably for some error handlings and some kind of stuff like that then we go for the next command which is setting up the database we're gonna press enter 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 Yes, uh, our user is called Pterodactyl. If you change the name, then you write the name here, but I did not. So, and the password is, in our case, password. So, that's done. We don't need to do this one. If you want, you can do that. I don't do it usually. Then we want to migrate all of our um, tables. Um, then we want to make a user, which is going to be a root user. So yes it's an administrator email david david.com username david first name david last name david you can write basically anything you want and password let's go for password and uh, don't mind this that sometimes happened happens but it's okay you write all of uh, just this one actually based on uh, what uh, are you using I'm using Nginx or Apache so I'm gonna only use that one then the next 
line and then what we want to go we want to cd into this uh, and so cd you copy this you're there you want then you want to go for nano this uh, file name and there you go you want to copy all of this control v control s and control x and it's going to save and close then you want to enable this one and on the boot it can also set it up now we basically set up the panel now we just want to enable the connection to the panel and i'm doing it without a cell so i'm gonna choose this way so i'm gonna now cd into this and i'm gonna nano actually i'm gonna remove the default that is there um but in my case it's actually not really required um but maybe i should do it uh, so i'm just gonna go for remove default and that's gone then we want to nano into this nano here and we want to copy all of this and we replace the domain with our IP so copy there we go control s control x and there you have it then you want to enable the um, basically you want to set up the pterodactyl to be the config file and then you want to restart it and there you have it now you should not be able to actually connect to it and you might be wondering why am i not able to connect to it and the simple answer is because we have not set up the firewall for it so what we want to do is when we want to go to firewall mm -hmm. firewall right here and what you want to do you want to create a new firewall rule so when i'm gonna call it a main node for example i just have some text already there so i'm just gonna use that one i want to use it on all of the instances in the network and i want to use it on all of the ip addresses which is one that the one uh, zero that zero that zero that zero slash zero and i want to all allow all of the ports so i'm just gonna do it like this and create it that's all that's all we have to do to enable the port to uh, run so we're gonna wait for that to set up now if we refresh the page um, we are going to restart one more time the Inknix oops uh, it's lagged out okay now it's good after refresh now we are going to check actually if the VM is okay. Yeah, everything seems to be okay, but uh, let me just uh, try to HTTP into it because it can have sometimes problems that it's trying to use HTTPS protocol and it cannot find it, but it seems like it should be up and running. Mm. So I'm gonna let's try to actually just in case reset the, the virtual machine okay so that's done we are still SSH into it and we can try to refresh it HTTP that it's trying to use and the IP address is correct I am going to oh right it is, so it is connected in the end I will uh, check the environmental variables if I did not set in something something in some different way but uh, this part should actually be working for now from what I remember the panel should be working uh, but just without the wings um, I'm not sure why it's causing these problems but 
let me actually try to go to let me try to go to one of these setups action and see if all the files are saved it's actually not that's weird because I did not see the input. issue was that I actually did not remove it from enabled uh, sites enabled but only from sites available so you will have to delete it also from uh, as you can see etc engnics sites enabled and uh, remove the default file that is still there and then you can restart your engnix and it will work I'm sorry for that but you can see um, that we did at least some real time um, real time debugging so you can see that nothing is impossible you can if you have any problems like this you can just reach out to me and we can work it out you can write me in the comments i can help you now we're going to install wings here you can actually you should be able to log in so there we have it but nothing will work just because we did not set up anything yet so now we want to enable docker of course after this uh, this is done the downloading of the docker right here we can in the meantime set up a um, location uh, based on where you are you can name it so i'm just gonna call it wa just because that's shortcut for varsava and we'll go to notes and this one is set up right um, and we enabled the docker we're gonna go for the next line you don't have to worry what these means you can read it but you can go for the next then we want to install the wings we are going to download them and we are going to ch mode them now for a uh, bit complicated part but not that really you just want to cd into this directory cd etc pterodactyl you want to again nano into this config yaml and you want to go to your page you want to go to notes you need the location to be set up you want to go to create new and you want to call it whatever you want i'm gonna call it main node uh, it's going to be public uh, it's going to use HTTP connection this is the IP without the HTTP and there you have it your yeah, total memory in this case I think it was 8000 uh, memory over allocation nothing uh, total disk space I think it was 15 gigabytes nothing and create node uh, actually yeah we have to set this to zero uh, so and then this change back to SSL we're gonna change to HTTP create so after we're done with that we're gonna go to configuration and copy all of this paste it right here Control S Control X and we want to run the last command which is to run the wings and there you have it we go to about and we can see everything's up and running so there has to be green heart uh, and we can close this we are gonna, not gonna need it actually anymore and there we have it so and now for the part where you are waiting for most of you is to how do i set up the for example the wildlife -Wild server so i have the egg i downloaded it uh do you remember what was the port here 
no me neither me so you're gonna take that go to allocations and then uh, ports and it's going to be this port and then you're like IP address you would be wondering I, of course it's this one but it's not it's the private actually because it's going to use the private IP the internal IP address to connect to it so it's gonna redirect to it and there you have it so you want to put the private uh, internal IP address of your instance then you submit and then you go to servers and you can create a server on that but we do not have the wall handler right you're gonna be like oh but there's no wall hand david like how do i set up that you go to nests and you create a new and you call it for example wall hand in this case since we are spamming the wall hand then we go to nests again and import an egg and egg wall hand associated nest wall hand import we're just gonna save don't change anything if you don't understand what are you doing it's going to also tell you to not change anything unless you understand how the system works just don't touch it or you're going to have problems that you've never seen ever i'm gonna call it wallheim server i am the server owner it's going to run on main node on this port and this ip address database don't worry about that if you don't know what are you doing just i'm gonna set this to zero this one uh, i'm gonna set to zero also just so it's allowed to use basically everything it has in uh options choose nest wallheim wallheim then name password if you want uh, world name you can import also your uh, world uh, you can change the name here and I'm gonna show you how uh, to import so if you change this to something else the name of your world you just change that and then you hit the create server it's going to download the, the everything for you and you're going to wait for it but in the meantime you can possibly go to actually uh, steam and boot up your game because you are good to go i'm gonna show you that it actually works and not just tell you yeah it's working without showing you that i can connect to it right i'm gonna close all of this i'm gonna boot up the wallheim we're gonna wait for it to update and it should be done in a few seconds um, and and uh, for the um, server to have your custom uh, world that you already used i'm gonna show you how to do it just in a second we're gonna wait for it to set it up it's gonna go here join world add server delete this and answer it's not running yet but we're gonna wait for this to finish its downloading and we can go back here and you can look also at the other eggs that you would like to play with your friends or basically host servers because you can host good servers on this and yeah you can see all of them are here there's a lot and a lot of them you can actually also make your custom uh, server hosting basically there are some modules for the pterodactyl itself uh, that you can buy for i think like 200 dollars and what it does it's you install the package you are going to put your uh, key there and it's going to transform the pterodactyl to be a server hosting that uh, user can access by server on and they basically send you money and you give them some of the server power that you have right i can also show you how to do that if you want me to in the next um, video so this one is almost done as you can see i still can't access the file so i'm gonna have to wait for this to be finished and then i can access it and i can show you how to put the world there right 
I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just gonna show you how and where to put it. So, uh, it's fully installed, it says, but it still doesn't want to let me to go in there, so we're just gonna still have to wait for a while. Alright, okay, we can start it. Uh, so it's uh, up and running, actually. It seems like it's starting. There is some error, apparently. And the server is marked. So we'll probably have another error handling, s handling session. And... or probably not, it's actually setting up the world right now so it seems it's going to work so here we have files and where you put the world is in the I yeah it's here you go to container config unity 3d iron gate wallheim and here somewhere should be the world but it's still generating it so we're gonna have to wait for that we're gonna wait for the server to generate might take few seconds but after uh, the server is up and running you will not have to worry about any of this it's just going to run 24 7 basically unless you stop it right by pressing the stop and it seems like there is some bug here I might have to actually look into it I'll actually not even post the video or anything like that, I'll do it with you so you know how to handle all of these kind of stuff. You can of course uh, ask me how to do it in the comments if you have some errors yourself. Right, yeah, so we have here error uh, saying that shader is not supported on this GPU. But that should actually not be error, game breaking error. Uh, let me actually check if I can do something with it by going to admin, server, here, and build configuration. Let me check if I set up everything correctly. Uh, right, actually, I don't think. Uh, I'm not sure about this one, the CPU pinning. We can try to update it. Okay, <coughs> so it was because of the CPU pinning. I'm pretty sure in that, that if we are going to run it now, I'm gonna restart it. Just set the CPU pinning to zero. Uh, actually, to uh, just delete it. Just delete the CPU pinning. Keep it empty. And as you can see, oh, it threw the error anyways. But let's see if it boots up. Yeah, this time it's going to boot up correctly, as you can see. It threw the error, but just set the CPU pinning to nothing. Uh, as you can see, it's running. I can refresh it. And I'm gonna wait, I guess. The IP is correct. Oh, now it's marked as running. Right, it's generating location. Yeah, that's. Yeah, uh, so now since it's generating, I can show you where to put your world, which is here, because it's going to just create a dedicated that FY, uh, FWL, and you should have that also if you have your world, but you should also have another file, which is called, I think, uh, dedicate, uh, well, your world name, that SQL, actually, I think. And we'll see. Um, because it's going to generate both of them and I can show you both of them but it's going to take a few minutes maybe a few seconds maybe a bit longer yeah it's generating as you can see some of them it's failing like runestone mountains it plays only 75 out of 100 Tarp it only 16 out of 100 for some reason, but you will not have to worry about this unless you have your own world. But 
even if you have your own world you have to go through all of this same setup like we are doing right now just because you will try you will set it up now as you can see okay now it's running so what you have to do now if you have your own world you go here and you put it here but it's missing the uh, that I think you should have two files so if you have two files just upload them here then what you want to do is go here uh, change the name of the world oh it's here actually and the uh, um, startup I think it should be and there you have the world name and you change it to the your world name after you're done we're just gonna restart the server and as you can see it's running I can connect to it the password is secret I'm gonna write uh, just a secret and it should be up and running I th I'm not sure if I actually wrote the password correctly I hope I did yeah it seems like I did and we should be able to join and we are here and this is how you set up your own game servers there you have it so i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you want to know how to set up multiple or uh, different games or uh, if you want to know how to do it for free on oracle uh, for a lifetime but only for minecraft just let me know in the comments also if you have any questions comments and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe thank you Bye-bye.